Hey everybody, 8-Bit Josh here and welcome back to Aurora Park. So this episode we're doing more in the, um, in the Main Street area and kind of doing, uh, I was mentioned it like in the last episode, just some sort of like some buildings that are kind of behind, I guess like the actual functional buildings. So these aren't like actually functional buildings, they're just there to, you know, add you know, more detail to the park and also give some sort of like depth, I guess. I was kind of saying this last episode, depth to the to the main street area. So like when you're when you're a guest like walking around, you know, you you see like other buildings kind of off, you know, behind like the uh, you know, we have like the the bath the restrooms there and uh, the chief beef and the monorail station. So like those are functional buildings, but then as the guests, you see behind, there's, you know, other buildings that just sort of, they're meant to give the illusion like you're kind of walking through a city street, I guess. Um, so yeah, the, this building here is actually, like, I used the, the brick this time instead of the kind of regular uh, metal uh, walls that I had been using previously. Just to give, like, I, I like when you see like in sci-fi like movies or TV shows or video games you know sometimes you see like buildings that were I guess you would say like older buildings and they've sort of over the years have been retrofitted with you know kind of more sci-fi kind of things on them I guess you know details and metal and all that kind of stuff so that was kind of my thought behind this building it has like that kind of classic Classic brick texture, but then you got all these, you know, like little metal uh, pieces on them and the, you know, the sort of the vents and the lights and um, here I took the, uh, these, um, these light, or these lights, these windows are from the uh, Spooky Pack DLC and they actually, they light up, um, they have like the billboard effect and they're really cool because then you can just take like other pieces and make your own like kind of frame around the window. Uh, so that's what I did with these. I just took, uh, you saw there, the frames of these windows are actually like just the little dividers. Um, I, they're like, I think they're considered like fences um, in the game, but they're like these, they're like sci-fi fences basically. Um, and I just kind of took them and sunk them into the wall and, uh, you know they they make cool little uh, cool little frames around these windows to help give it that sci-fi look, and then you know just adding like this door here and um, I think I was trying to think there was something else I did and I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll get maybe I'll remember when uh, when uh, we get there, and then they, yeah just kind of like quick peeks uh, looking at it at nighttime. It looks really cool with the uh, windows all lit up and then here just trying to figure out you know the best kind of roof to put on this building so I just found like a like another brick roof um, and then kind of colored it the same so it matches and then yeah here adding just you know some more sci-fi details to the roof um, that little light and then this piece I use this on the restrooms there um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I like it I may change it later but I like the piece because it kind of looks like a vent and I, I like adding these like the little steam effects in here kind of just sinking it in and you know like buildings have they have vents on the top to you know whatever they're venting I don't know air and heat or whatever and so this building is a little bit more I guess like a modern uh, looking building um, and then I, I colored it black just to trying to get some variety uh, in the look of these buildings, adding these, the same spooky, uh, windows, and then I just kind of multiplied them to make it, try to make it look like it's one giant window. Um, so, okay. Thought I would, uh, go ahead and read your guys' comments from last time. Uh, there, there were only three, but still I appreciate those three comments, and I still like reading them anyway. So, Stitch Up says, Excellent. Been waiting for this video. Didn't disappoint. Keep up the good work, champ, with a thumbs up. So thanks, Stitch Up. I'm trying to uh, trying to do the best I can, and I'm glad that uh, not disappointing so far. Hopefully, I can keep that up. 
Um, Poofy Gaming says, Another lovely episode. I did miss a few exhaust pipes slash LED lights on top of the longer part of the building uh, where the monorail is waiting. I don't know why, but I was expecting those. And I didn't really think about it at the time I was building it, um, but yeah, I, uh, I I agree. There there could be some lights on top of the, uh, the old monorail station there. Um, he also commented, he says, I don't know if they're in the game, but a few antenna here and there, uh, maybe maybe group three in different sizes, might add some more sci-fi detailing too. And I thought that was an excellent, excellent idea, and you will actually, uh, not on like the monorail building, um, but on another building in this episode, I actually do uh, make some antenna. There, uh, there actually aren't any um, in the details, but there are these like straight uh, cable pieces and they just, you know, they kind of look like they could be antenna. So you'll, you'll see those later on in this episode. And then let them come in it says, ah, the good old phone notes. You've got, you've a touch of the old writer slash artist about you, my good fellow. Plenty of SJ stuff is stored that way. The roof looks proper sci-fi and the extra 45 degree sort of uh, launch looking tunnel is a sweet touch. Well, thank you, my man. Um, yeah, I definitely uh, use my phone for adding notes and, um, you know, it's it's a good handy way for me to, you know, keep track of things and, you know, like when I'm not playing the game, I'll, I, I kind of come up with like ideas for, you know, maybe what I want to build or names and such. And I always just, I just kind of jot them down in my phone. So again, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the old comment. I appreciate it, you guys. And obviously keep them coming because, um, like I said, I do want to keep reading them and I will keep reading them as long as you, uh, <laughs> as long as you keep commenting. Um, so here you, you notice I actually placed a ride and I wasn't quite sure uh, when I started this if I wanted a ride on the main street um, but eh, I just decided you know what what the hell I'll just I'll place a ride and if you're familiar with uh, if you watched my last series at all Adventure Park this ride may look familiar um, well I should say the detailing around the ride because the ride is a ride that's just in the game but um yeah, so in uh, my last series, Adventure Park, I had a small sci-fi section and I took this ride, it's called the Hammer Swing, and I just renamed it Cosmic Swing and I added this little uh, building around the queue. And I was like, you know what, it's my building, I built it, and you know, they're both my, they're both my parks. So I was like, figure why not, what the heck just added in. I think it fits really well. Um, it did take me, as you're watching this, a little bit to uh, get the queue to go through the building, like, properly. Uh, it was... I don't remember... I don't remember how I built it originally in the last series. If I... I'm pretty sure I placed the queue and then just built the building around the queue. And I think... Because I did it that way, placing it here, it was a little bit harder to get the uh, get the queue uh, to you know kind of wind through the building uh, and look look good doing it. And then here I took another one of the simple shapes and I actually uh, took the idea that I used in the entrance building and I kind of just placed them around um, the queue so it kind of covers up the path so you don't really see like. You know like how it kind of curves around uh, in the building there and it's just a nice way to kind of kind of cover that up little cover up little imperfections here and there um, I'm gonna take a little drink of my coffee oh yeah I sure love coffee um, so here what I what I actually do um, I took these roof pieces and they're they're a really good way to kind of make a sidewalk um, you'll see you can you'll see me do it here in, in a little bit I actually sink it down just enough to where it's still visible but it you know it 
still covers up kind of the kind of the road like see there you go I just kind of sink it down and it's cool because it gives like a kind of a sidewalk effect so you know there's you'll see a lot of you know planet coaster builders um, you can cover up the actual pathways with this little trick so it makes it look more open and not like um, I don't know like you're like the paths are just I don't know the paths in this game aren't the best uh, they're not the easiest to kind of manipulate and make you do make them do what you want um, so kind of doing like a little trick like I did where you just cover them up um, it just helps create the illusion like you know it's a big old you know just a regular path that the guests can walk on even though they'll only walk in that one little section of the path that uh, we actually built and then here again going back to just adding you know more detailing with the snow around um, all the paths here again it just helps with the illusion like yeah this is a this is a park in a arctic setting so you know there's gonna be snow and that snow needs to get shoveled and pushed aside but you know there's there's always that there's always that little bit of snow like up against buildings and such that nobody ever really gets when they're shoveling snow so that's kind of what that is just that cool little extra detail and i think it really helps uh sell kind of the you know the idea that this park is in an arctic setting i mean besides the fact that the entire building or the entire map is covered in snow <laughs> but um so here i copied the building i already made and i'm kind of like trying to adjust uh where the building should be placed in relation to the ride because you don't want the ride like clipping through uh, the buildings because you know in real life they're they're not gonna do that um, and I instead of just like rebuilding these or building new ones I copy them because um, I don't know if it ended up being any quicker but I felt like copying them uh, was gonna be quicker and then like you know I recolor them and I add new details and I, I don't know I don't know if it ended up being any quicker but it felt like it felt like it was quicker um, and then here I'm adding uh, I, I'm actually adding billboards to the building and this goes back to what I've been you know I've said a few times where you know when you see like in sci-fi movies that are like kind of futuristic uh, you know there's like lights and billboards everywhere like all over the you know on all the buildings and kind of like like I said I think of Blade Runner and so this is kind of my trying to emulate that um, with the uh, the old the old billboards on on the actual building there and then this is just you know more more details in the on, on the old on the old roof here um, I thought it was you know this like I don't remember what the name of this little piece is but it just looks like some sort of like water pump or something and uh, I wanted to add this you know colorable steam vent jet thing just to help you know make the buildings look like they're um, you know like they're kind of like they're being used you know even though they're they're non-functional in the sense that you know guests aren't going to be interacting with them but it still it helps with the illusion that the uh, the buildings are being used for something who knows um, and then this is again uh, just a copy of the building I already built um, and just kind of you know repurposing it and adding different details to it just to um, you know it was it was mostly gonna be honest mostly just to uh, help me kind of speed up this uh, little build a little bit uh, quicker um, I didn't add any details on the backs of these buildings um, just because like I'm not sure yet how visible the backs of them are going to be to the guests um, I kind of have an idea about what is going to be built um, oh here you go poofy here I added the uh, cable pieces to kind of make them look like their antenna sticking up um, but yeah like I kind of have an idea um, 
what is going to be built on the other side of these buildings here. Um, it's going to be another section of the park, um, but you know, as I do, I have the basic idea in my head, but not like the, um, you know, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get to that finished uh, piece. Um, so, you know, depending on how that section goes when, when we get to it, um, I may or may not add some more details on the backs of these buildings. Um, it really just depends on, like I said, how visible they are to the guests when they're going to be in that other section of the park. Um, and then here, just doing more, kind of adding like the, the little sidewalks, um, which again, these are those are also not functional. There are no paths back there that the guests can walk on. Um, again, it's just all this is really just to give the illusion like you're in like a little sci-fi kind of futuristic city. Um, so, you know, like things are like meant to have a purpose, um, but you know, they don't really do anything. They're just, you know, details to help make it look cool. Um, and again, you know, this is like just like a little kind of mini alley and I like adding uh, the little details to make it look like there's just kind of junk laying around and um, I don't know I I think it's cool you know just adding those little details helps make the park look more alive and lived in and you know all that kind of cool fun stuff um, and then here I actually I decided to um, use a different texture for the main path um, instead of like the black shiny one I switch it up to this uh, asphalt which is um, the same texture um, that's used in the go-kart tracks It's a really nice just you know basic uh, asphalt texture but it looks really nice and you know I, after I'd been looking at this for a couple episodes now I, I felt like the shiny black um, path texture just wasn't really fitting with the kind of theme or vibe that I was going with so I switched to the asphalt I think it looks I don't know you let me know I think it looks better um, you know I I like it but um yeah so that's gonna do it for this episode of Aurora Park um, let me know in the comments what you think of the rides and uh, just how the detailing is going so far um, next few episodes, we'll probably move across the street and work on the other side of the main street area. But yeah, so be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.